Davis. Emily Davis is the I'm nine years old. I do not be with Mama, Dad and Buckley. OK, don't forget to smile for your Uncle John. That's it. Everybody ready? And cheese. I like to read. I read about three a week, I do. Drink Harry books. How funny culture I did it to get further though for Tracy. No one else in school likes reading. So I just sit on my own and read stories at playtime. I like to do the lessons with my teacher, Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith is really nice. She gives us stickers. And she's got nice bright shoes. Me and my dad used to go swimming every Saturday. But we don't anymore. I just read in my room. He doesn't go out now. Not even to work. My mum works though. She's got a really important job in a big office and a really cool mobile phone. I like my room. It's nice and quiet. And it's pink. Dad. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Look at this book Miss Smith gave me. You should read it. That's a big, thick book. Aren't you clever? <laughs> did you have a good day at school? Yeah. We drew pictures, I did a painting, and sent an email to Sophia, my friend in Barcelona. When is she getting here with the school? Mm, only two months to wait. <laughs> Where did you get those stickers from? Miss Smith gave them to me. Look, that one's a rabbit. <laughs> Mum! Mum! Right, Mum! Yeah, and I'll speak to you later. Okay, man. Okay. All right then, thanks, bye. Hello, Cariad. <laughs> What's that? Kevin now with a new book Mrs. Smith gave me. I finished my other one in two days. Diane! What have I told you about using that dying language in my house? What does that mean? Nothing, Emily. Have you had a good day, Mum? Mummy's had a very busy day today. We signed a lot of contracts and we closed oh, very shut deal. Shut up. Can't you talk about anything other than work? I'm sorry, James, but one of us has to provide for this family. Did Daddy pick you up from school today? Of course I did. I said I would and I did. Has she eaten? Well, I thought you'd pick up something fancy for us all on the way home. Just make the tea. Listen, you're not the boss here. I am. I've got to take this. It's the office. I can turn her off for once. It's important they need me. I worked in that office for three years, remember? I know what they say about you behind your back. They don't say anything about me. <laughs> oh, yes, they do. Why do you think nobody comes around here anymore, huh? Everyone there hates you. Where did you hear that? Everyone talks about how selfish you are. You're never there when Emily needs you. Don't even think she likes you anymore. I do try. It's hard to juggle work with everything else. No, it's not. Sort it out, or I'm leaving. And I'm taking Emily with me. Did you think I was going to go to the No, not to Matthew. Did you pop him in the Not to you. Are you sure? Did you think I was going to go to the school and the weather? Did you think I was going to go to the school? 
a door. How many? Well... My no care, where did they do say? Well, Mummy's busy at work and Daddy doesn't leave the house. They shout a lot. Daddy says Mummy's no good. It's OK, Emily. You come inside with me and tell me all about it. After talking to Mrs Smith, things are a bit better at home now. I'm not sure what's happened, but once a week I go to after-school club and Mummy and Daddy goes to a special lady who helps them sort the problems out together. Mum and Dad take it in turns now to pick me up from school and make tea, cos Dad's got no job. Not in an office like Mum, but working outside. At least he's not in the house all day. And Mummy does make an effort to turn her phone off as soon as she gets home. I'm really looking forward to Sophia coming from Barcelona. We are going to have such a great time. Mrs Smith has shown us on the world map where Catalonia is. It's in Spain. Hi, I'm Sofia. I'm 10 years old. I'm on an exchange here with my school from Catalonia. I can't wait to meet Emily. We have been emailing each other for a while now, and we're great friends. Today, the teacher asked us to draw pictures of our families. I drew my mom. She's in her work clothes. She's a nurse. The teacher also showed us where Wales is on the map. My stepdad, he's not my real dad. He's a fireman and really important. But Pablo, one of the boys in my class, he's always making fun of my stepdad. I love drawing and copying the cartoon characters on TV. But sometimes Pablo messes up my drawings. He's always picking on me. I am the youngest in my class and the smallest. Pablo always makes fun of me because I speak a different language to him. I'm fed up of him telling me what to do all the time. I don't like going to the shops for him, but I get really scared that I will get caught. Pablo makes me take DVDs. I get really worried. I'm sure the alarm will go off one day. for me. You stupid Catalonian idiot. I'm sorry. It wasn't easy today. Did you get what I wanted? I think so. Here, these ones. What's that for? A silly old. You stupid girl. I'm sorry. I got that one. That's good, isn't it? That's for babies. Why would I wash that? What other rubbish did you get? Come on. Um, I got these ones. 
You're stupid! Why did you get this? If you're going to steal, do it properly! I'm sorry, I read the list. I'm really sorry. Did you get my t-shirt and my CD? I did, I got them. It's blank! The t-shirt is blank! Can't you do anything right? Where's my CD? I asked for club hits. Where did you get this? I'm sorry, I couldn't get much. It's really hard to get everything. It's got all special tags on them. I can't do it properly. What did you get for yourself then, Sophie? I got a pencil set. Give it here and get back to those shops. I'll do it right this time or I'll get you. But this is really bad. Please don't make me go. I don't want to go again. Do as I tell you or I'll tell all the teachers that you'll be stealing from the shops. I mean it. I'll tell them and you'll be in deep, deep trouble. I'm not with me this time. I don't think I can do this anymore. I just want to be normal, like the other children, and play out after school, not still. I can't talk to my teacher, I've got no friends, no relatives. I can't tell my mom and dad, they're always busy. I'm really scared. I don't want to go to jail. Who can I turn to? Who can I talk to? If what's happening to Emily and Sophia is happening to you, or anyone you know, tell somebody about it. This will help you, okay? There are lots of people out there who will help you. You can call the police on 101, or in an emergency, 999, Childline on 0800 11 11, The Samaritans on 08457, 1990 90. Women's Aid on 0808 2000 247 or the NSPCC on 0808 800 5000 